Hello everyone, this is Renan Erickson. And today I want to talk to you about JavaScript. This is a beta Illustrator plugin. Illustrator is an Adobe tool that creates vector graphics with Pass. It's from it's part of the uh, Creative Cloud. And so this beta Illustrator plugin allows you to create and generate uh, graphics code for different languages based upon the different paths. It's in beta so there's a lot of um, things that are missing but it's a good start and I want to show you what this is possible of helping you in your in your workflows of creating vector-based um, code in different languages. So let's go ahead and start downloading this. So if you click download script and hit download, it will download an FXP file. Once it's downloaded, double click on that FXP file <coughs> and it will launch something called Adobe Extension Manager. Go ahead and click through all the install um, dialogues and you'll get something like this, com.example.jawscript. Now once you have this installed, it's available in Illustrator. What it looks like in Illustrator is like this. To get this window, come to Window, Extensions, and you should see JavaScript. Click on that and then it comes up. So here I have a file with different paths and uh, I'm selecting these three down here. And I can select my different language here. So I have um, all these different languages. I'm going to start with ActionScript 3 and I'm going to hit Generate. Um, to see this work, I can hit generate and it'll create just the one. Or I select three and generate and it'll click, uh, create it for all three. So it's in se sequence and here's my three. You can give it different prefixes um, in ActionScript. I definitely want to uh, give it at least a graphics variable so I can easily have these drawn onto the graphics property of a sprite or a movie clip. I go ahead and take this code, I copy it out, and I open up. Um, Adobe Flash Builder 4.7 which is also part of the Creative Cloud and I have here a project uh, that is a new ActionScript project here I've um, already created it and I have the base class that uh, is created when you create that project I go ahead and copy in my graphics code and add the G reference that is a graphics class and assign that to this sprites graphics variable. So now I have this copied in here, set the G variable up and I can basically run this to show you here is that vector artwork being drawn inside of Flash and ActionScript. So the cool thing is um, I can also uh, switch to a different language so I can use uh, say JavaScript and now JavaScript Canvas is going to generate all the different commands you would have for a canvas. Now what I'm going to do is actually use another part of um, Creative Cloud is some tools that are available called Edge Tools and Services. Edge Code is a code HTML CSS JavaScript IDE and it's based upon an open source project called Brackets. And so I have downloaded the Brackets um, version 29 on Sprint right now. So this is actually written in JavaScript and JavaScript IDE. And I'm using this uh, to have a basic uh, index.html file here and I want to be able to take that generated uh, canvas code and copy it over into some HTML to try this out. So what's pretty cool about um, Brackets, it has a, a built-in link into live debugging into uh, Google Chrome. So anything I change here um, will automatically be updated in the browser. So I can kind of show you this here. I can add a little tag here, save it, and you see high 3 shows up. So if I come back into this JavaScript code and go back to generating the code I need here, I actually see that there's a little bug there. I forgot in the prefix to add this dot. So I'm going to regenerate it, copy it, come back here, and I'm going to paste it. So now I have the, on the draw command that's going to be called on onload of the, of the body, I get the context and then actually start doing stuff. Currently with the beta plugin there is a couple things you have to clean up. It doesn't like floating numbers and it's generating a couple dupe lines here. So I'll quickly clean up this code to get it to work. And of course this would change uh, and be fixed with the, as the beta progresses. So I clean this up, I save the file, and there 
it automatically updated for me and there's that same uh, vector artwork in the HTML canvas. So there we have an Illustrator plugin that is um, generating a whole bunch of different graphics uh, code and I showed you um, tools like Adobe Illustrator and Flash Builder 4.7 and Brackets all part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Thanks.